Paper Dolls and Patron Saints. Paper Dolls. Mariane would draw the faces with big eyelashed eyes. I would draw the mid-drift tops, mini skirts and boots with tiny fold-over flaps. We listened to the Bee Gees and danced in her sister's platform shoes. Mariane would fake cry like a baby that sounded so real that it would bring my mom running to my room. Jody came to play, but she didn't want to draw or play dolls. She wanted to tell me about her brother, how they played steam engine in the basement, rolling on the ground until he stopped on top of her. She needed to learn how to cry to bring her mother running. But would her mother hear? Petro Coatl is who Celia Alvarez Munoz has named God of Petroleum. Petro Coatl is the God who my dad prayed to. We were those colonialists who came and raped and pillaged. We stole the artifacts of a culture that wasn't ours. Our family brought Inca relics home and displayed them like a poacher would display a lion's head. I say I'm innocent because I played paper dolls while he pillaged. But was I? I wanted the jaguar kitten he was going to bring home. But mom said no. She liked her curtains too much. Petro Coatl gave us gold and fancy cocktail parties in return for worshiping him. Petro Coatl heard our prayers. Double bubble, toil and trouble, oil and rubble, pro-America propaganda. God bless John Kennedy, they said, as they stuck their heads inside our Land Rover. The indigent ran behind us, reaching out. Why do they love our dead president? I asked my mom. Because JFK's their savior, she said. He gave them riches they never had. I wondered how poor they must have been if running barefoot behind us made them rich. America, the beautiful. We lived in a hotel, an old convent, even though I didn't believe in the father, the son, and Petro Coatl. I learned to cross myself for luck. During Carnival, Jody and Mariani and I would drop water balloons from the belfry on men in suits below us. We heard their curses over the bell chimes ringing in our ears. Border towns. My dad, Jaime, grew up in Del Rio, Texas. He only once told the story of his parents' divorce his Catholic parents in a Catholic community, the shame, the humiliation, going to live with his grandmother who had been in mourning for 37 years, who wore nothing but long-sleeved black dresses. She wasn't a woman to be reckoned with. She owned a city block and donated it all to the church when she died. The priests more her family than her grandson. The men had power over her, but did they? I've seen pictures of great grandma Wallen, and she walks down the wooden sidewalk of Del Rio with a mountain lion on a leash. If mom had let me have that jaguar kitten, would I have turned out like grandma Wallen? Maybe my bones know the story of a woman who was conflicted about powerful men. Street names. I found a Cochabamba street in Imperial Beach, San Diego. Cochabamba is the town in Bolivia where I lived, where I played paper dolls. Dad and Petro Cuadl moved us around the world. But Cochabamba is where I will return to die because it's where my heart is buried. Petro Coatl was stumped in Bolivia because the oil wouldn't leave the earth for him, so we left. As an adult, I moved to San Diego because it reminded me of Latin America. 
But it was the America with street names like Actuario and Pantuflas, which means actuary street and house slipper court. <laughs> in Cochabamba, I told my mom, I didn't want to be an American. Americans were stuck up, I said. She said I didn't have a choice. I don't think she heard what I meant. Saints. As an adult, I live in America as an American. My mother was right. I don't have a choice. The alternative is to relinquish what I have, who I am. The alternative is to be free from choice. But what is choice? I am my father's daughter. I wore a long-sleeved black dress of shame when my husband left me for another woman. I'm not a Catholic. But to speed things up, I asked St. Joseph to help me sell the house. If there is a God, I thought, he would hear me, even if I don't believe. I ordered the St. Joseph kit online. It came with a little Ziploc baggie with one little plastic St. Joseph statue the size of a toy soldier. Was it really G.I. Joe who helped me sell my house? G.I. Joe, the war-scarred St. Joe? Inside the Ziploc baggie was also a tiny scroll, the prayer to sell my house. The instruction said to dig a hole and place St. Joe upside down facing the house. My house was already upside down, so should I bury the tiny soldier right side up? <laughs> the tiny factory molded face gave no expression on what I was supposed to do with my life after I sold the house nor after the divorce. I don't believe, I thought, as I dug the hole with my fingers. I don't believe in holy sacrosanct marriage. I don't believe in any god, and I definitely don't believe in magic saints. I buried the prayer with the plastic statue as per the instructions. St. Joe went head first into the dirt facing my upside down house. A week later, the house sold. <laughs> Maybe it was G.I. Jane who heard me. Coca-Cola breaks. What makes a woman a woman? An X chromosome? A steam engine? A Jaguar on a leash? Definitely not being American. Definitely not a god. No way, Jose, is it a man. I don't care what the country western songs say. We aren't paper dolls who wear dresses made of flimsy paper with little fold-over flaps. We drink Coca-Cola on our factory breaks. We thread the needle and sew men's shirts, long-sleeved black dresses and broken hearts. We light the matches and lead the marches that set the world on fire. We swim the Amazonian trenches of men and survive. I may not always be proud to be an American, but I am always proud to be a woman. <laughs> <laughs>